And of course the other option I was talking about is instead of doing a baked lighting filter, what I can do is I'm gonna do a fill layer here. And on this fill layer, we will grab a material called baked lighting. So I'm just gonna tap that and it's going to put a baked lighting material onto my fill layer. So what we can do with this is go over here to our parameters and you can open up the material settings here and you can choose a base color. So I'm just gonna recreate kind of that orangey yellow kind of armor thing that it has. And for the metallic, do I want it metallic or not? I'm gonna go ahead and make it just plasticky. I can tell it how rough I want it. And again, this isn't, this isn't the shader or material properties. This is baked in just to the base color. We're still in the base color channel. Reflectance, we've already talked about AO, cavity, specular AO, specular cavity, play around with those settings. Uh, smoothness, if you want to put in the cartoony kind of edges here, you can do that. And you can kind of smooth those out or blur them out if you'd like. And once you have it where you want it, you can go ahead and right click this, add mask with color selection, pick what areas you want to have that. We'll go ahead and choose that. And now we have that baked lighting into that material here. Now if I click that material again, uh, we do have some lighting options in here and as of this recording in uh, Painter 1.7.1, we only have the sun we can kind of play with, but we can you know, go ahead and play with that. So if we want to position the sun on this orange part here to a place where it looks really cool, we can certainly do that. It's like, ah, uh, okay, this is cool. I want, to, I want it to catch all the right highlights here so you can kind of position that sun and that goes ahead and bakes it down. The sky color, if you want to change that. The ground color, if you want to go ahead and add. If you want to do it really stylized, you can do like orange with orange top lighting with red bounce lighting and make it, you know, super saturated. If that's the look you're going for, it's good. Say that's cool. And it's just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and do another one. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate this layer. And instead of orange, we're going to choose like a dark gray here. And if I click this little red area here for the color selection, I'm going to kill that red one by clicking the minus sign, do a pick color, and I'm going to replace this blue here, so this metal area here, with this new material here. So we've changed the color here, the metallicity. I'm going to crank this up to make it more metallic. Then I'm going to go in here to my lighting. I'm going to move that sun around to make sure I get some really cool lighting on my metal pieces here. There we go. We'll put it here and then maybe raise it a little bit. Cool, so we got some metal over here. And if we want to change the colors around on the metal here, let's say make that super blue. And the ground color, let's make that super, not that blue, but maybe just like a aquamarine. And even the horizon color, you can go in here and change how these kind of affect your material. So we can do a very, very aqua metallicity here and you know play with these as much as you want to kind of get the look you're going for here. Let's go and raise that up a little bit. And of course the intensity, we can go ahead and crank that sun intensity up. So if that's what we're looking for here, that's the metal I want. Uh, you can just keep going through there and doing that. Or if you don't want to have it dictated by just the material, you can go through the other method which is basically have your base color. So here's the actual object here. If I hit C and go into the base color and then we just put that filter above it, that'll convert everything to baked lighting and then of course you'll have the extra options to do your sunlight as well as the two extra lights here. And that's not even it. There's a couple more things that are kind of the same-ish thing as this baked lighting and that is number one, we have a couple new generators. I'm going to click the generator uh, tab over here and we have MG 3D distance as well as if we scroll down, MG light. So let's play around with those. If I put a fill layer, uh, fill layer uh, I'll just put it above everything here. And this fill layer, we'll go ahead and make it red so it's obvious where it's going. And I'm gonna turn off everything but color. And I'm gonna right click this fill layer and we're gonna do add a black mask. Right click that black mask and do add generator. That's gonna give us a generator slot. So I'm gonna go over to my generators and choose MG3D distance. Drag that into my generator slot. And that's going to give me red because this my fill layer is red and then it's giving me a mask again. If I hold down Alt and click that mask, you're gonna see where it's allowing that red to kind of show through. So I'm gonna hit C to go back to my base color here. And we'll click on MG3D distance. And now if we play with this, you can actually start positioning that X position, the Y position bottom to top, and the Z position to kind of dictate where this mask is gonna go. So as we're doing that, uh, you can also do offset contrast if you want to just really sharpen up that line or not. And radius, if you want that fall off to just be, you know, a little bit softer here. So you can kind of position 
where you want this to go. Now if you want to see this in action over your shells, you can go to 2D only. And as you play with these options, you're going to see how it's using your position map here to start putting in a mask around your object that allows this fill layer to show through. So that's one option you can do. Uh, the other new one is let's say you wanted to do a very stylistic rim light onto this thing. Uh, and again, we're just in the base color here. And again, this fill layer only has color allowing it through. So if we go back to this generator here and we grab the MG light and replace that 3D distance with MG light here. Now we have uh, color baking onto our object through a fill layer here. So now if we take this thing and we choose, you know, what angle, let's say we want that that fill light over here, little lava red light district thing going on. You can kind of position that light. You can tell it how glossy you want it to be. So you can kind of tone it down to just certain areas. Highlight level, you can make it super Sin City style. You can kind of soften it up a little bit. So you can kind of position a really, really strong fake light in here. Now that strength is only dictated by uh, how opaque this layer is. If you want to, you can go to the base color here, drop this 100% down to like, you know, 25% or so, and you're kind of just putting in a little bit of soft light baked on the one side of the object. Then, of course, you can go in here to the generator and reposition, reposition this at will. So if you like it over here, that's fine. If you want on the other side, just toss that over to the other side, and that'll just bake it right into your base color.